Uh, let's see here. Yo, 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 what's up? All right, let me turn take this off. Really. I like watching this while we're talking for a minute. We'll talk Arachne in a second. Don't worry. Yo, what's up, Ray? How you doing? What's up, Julio? I'm ready to change my Zen and Maul with an army of tigers, right? No, it's exciting. The I like the fact that we have to wait. I mean, we're gonna get I think we're gonna get some expansion card slot reveals next week, but the fact that we have to wait a whole month to freaking see reveals is killing me. I hope they spoon feed us. I hope they spoon feed us for the a little bit, right? We will have to see. What is this? What are all these cards? Okay. Why are you sitting there? I ordered two cards, flesh and blood cards, and this LGS, I mean, sure. They sent me like three force of will cards and three. This is so funny. Why would you send me all these cards? That's interesting. What is up, everyone? Yo, yo, yo. You know they will. No, yeah, they're they're definitely gonna spoon feed. I ended up getting these. I didn't have the I only had one full art predatory streak, and before it spiked, I went ahead and got my last two. It's really the only thing I had to get. And man, I am glad I got it. I did a little bit of cuts of the trailer. It's sitting the whole trailer in the background. It's just some of it. Um figured it'd be a little fun thing to, to do. Yeah, today with y'all, we're going to just, we'll talk Miss Fail, have some fun chat, but we're also going to play some Arachne games. I'm going to play some Arachne. Um, talk about where Assassin is right now and where I think it is. I, I mean, the short answer is I think Assassin's actually in a pretty good spot now. Um, I hope we get the biggest tease of the reveal on Monday for April Fool's. I know, right? They just like, that's, I've seen people do that in like the esports and gaming world where like they actually announce something on April Fool's and people think it's a joke and it's not. And it takes people like half a day to realize, oh, wait, hold up. They're being serious. Um, but I hope they play with it. April Fool's is always really fun on social media. As a social media manager or something. What is this? Oh. This card I ordered, they gave me an Excited for Blood as a gift. That's cool. Thank you. I picked up the last of the promo spike of inertia I needed for this. Yeah. The promos, those went up quick. Those went up super quick. I've been saying for a little bit that we will get a reveal on Chi works April 1st. No, that's definitely possible. That is definitely possible. I wish I could get rid of this. I don't like that it's there. Ty Tiger Eye Reflex is going to spike too. Yeah, anything from that Tularean Community College kit is going to go up a little bit. Although I do think we'll get some type of ambush reprint. Maybe not reprint, but something similar in the set. All right, let's pull this up. Let's do this and do this. Yes, yeah, so we're going to play some Arachne today. Um, we're gonna have some fun with it. The the list, my list wasn't teched in a drum I really anyway. I kind of conceded that matchup. I, I just for reasons that don't even matter anymore. I didn't really tech into that, so I don't have to change my list a whole lot. All I really did was add in spike and inertia trap. Um, because it to me it works out pretty well. I think we're gonna have a lot of uh. A lot of warrior running around the first week of progress. A lot of hatchet dory, a lot of Kasai trying to take advantage of Jeremiah being on her way out the door. Because Jeremiah's either going to be gone the first week of progress, or she might be gone before progress if she wins that calling. So, um, yeah, these are in there because of warrior. I think it's going to be really relevant. Um, they're also good at writing the guardian or anything else. They're just good block value. This is good in the guardian if they want to run like a Nothos or anything to buff making might tokens um oasis is good in the kano is the main reason i have it and then obviously it's good in the decks that dominate things um so my list really hasn't changed that much the only thing i'm really deciding on is graven call i still have it in because i think prism is going to be decently uh relevant excuse me um the first week i think actually prism rises pretty well because of this 
So we have that. And then we have two hold the lines. There's going to be a lot of brute running around. So we went ahead to this. I'm thinking about putting in a ripple aways. I just don't know where I put the room in for it. And brute already is a pretty decent matchup anyway. So I don't know if it's worth it. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, list is pretty simple. Results, I mean, they're just casual games, but the results still have been doing pretty well for me. Um, the main one was Victor, right? Only have a couple wins on the Victor. Still, still, I'm getting better at that matchup for sure, but I'm still figuring that matchup out. And Prism's a little rough, but yeah, we're going to have some fun. I've had the others since they came out. It was just messing, uh, missing the inertia. Yeah. Yeah, it's really hard to. Oh, Bolton. All my sideboard stuff is messed up now. Uh, Bolton. Honestly, I think we just go straight 66 here. All right, this should work once I go in. Yeah, I had to mess with my uh, scenes a little bit because I've been changing things. Hopefully, y'all like the new cam box. I actually tried. I, I don't know if it's the exact font, but it's pretty close to what Flusherbutt actually uses on their cards. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. All right, let's see if this works here. It does. Let's go. I hope Rotney gets more from this field. I don't know. I don't think. I don't know if he'll get a ton or they'll get a ton, but. They might. They might get a card here and there. Some reactions would be kind of cool. All right. Radiant Flow makes sense. They didn't fat deck. They went straight 60 here. All right. They charged the soul. Um, let's just do sink below here. Get rid of that inertia trap. That's another C plus. Oh, yellow. Um. Okay. Maybe we just do eradicate and force out some some blocks here. Arsenal is sink below. What's up, Monty? How you doing, my friend? Ooh, beacon of victory, turn one. Hmm. How? Well, they got the Radiant Flow, so until we get rid of that, we kind of got to sink Beacon because they can block seven here. And they could have defense reactions. Like, we, we got to play around that a little bit. Well, they synced anyway, I think. Oh, they didn't. Okay. Yeah, reaction for me. Uh, Bolt of Courage. We'll, here, we'll bite. We'll see if we can get another card. Might not, but... Make them use the Radiant Flow early if they don't have a reaction, but they might have one. If they got it, they got it. I kind of hope we get the signature weapons and maybe the rare slot and then some non-talent weapons in the token slot so we can use them for the other heroes. Maybe. I think their weapons are going to be all Mystic, Ray. I could be wrong. We'll see if I am, but I think I think they're going to be all Mystic. Ooh, V for the Vanguard. We'll take that. Frick yeah. We love that. Oh, this must be a pretty good hand for them. Doing well. I've been getting in the game and looking for what I want my first CC sec to be. So I'm shopping for classes. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that Monty, most time what I tell people is obviously a hero may you may gravitate towards, but overall, like look for a look for a uh class that you like, not a hero, because this game heroes are gonna be LLing a lot more frequently. Um in this game right now and because of that like you're gonna have to uh, probably pick a class you like like i love katsu but i love ninja and combo in general so same thing with assassin like arachne is my favorite assassin but my f i'd love assassin so try if i get a class you like more so than a hero in my opinion if you're near the game i hope the bridge the gap between stealth and contract since it seems to be choosing stealth as the assassin focus now yeah they might try to bridge the gap brian in my interview with him that he did 100 percent say that they're not 100 percent like this is the only thing they're gonna do but it seems like they're gonna be caring more about um stealth than anything else interesting I mean, either way, we're taking a point of damage here. 
forced him to use the soul shield though, which is actually pretty big. Cause he probably was gonna ar they probably were gonna arsenal that. Do we even care here or do we hold this sink? Yeah, I guess it values value. We'll keep this. Let's just do this. They're probably gonna take this. That's the crappy thing about holding a shred like this. Ooh. We might have to flick here. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully everyone's had a good week though. This past these past few uh events were insane. Past few weeks were insane with the reveals and everything else. Sync. Oh, you're gonna let me get that Lumina heck and a beacon? Oh, we are straight chilling, my friends. Obviously, we can always still lose, and we're in good shape. Oh, and it's that. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and give you an inertia trap, inertia, my friend. Yep, it's fine. That's an arsenal. Um, interesting. Um, we'll keep this. That's fine. We can block it out. If it hits, it goes into your soul. It's not going to hit, my friend. I'm sorry to tell you. Sick. They're letting things hit, which is interesting. And we've already gotten rid of Illumina and a Beacon and a V for the Vanguard. We're doing pretty good when it comes to Banishes. Ooh, another Beacon. Let's not... I don't think they're going to block this. We're hitting the power cards early. See, in, in regular... It's so funny. Talishar Arachne is, like, not even... Not as, like, menacing or as annoying as, like, in person. Because in person, like, I can sit there and look at that beacon and be like, hmm, and just, like, think for 20 seconds and then be like, oh, I guess I'll leave it on top. And, like, you can, like, mess with your opponent from a, just, like, a psyching them out perspective. You can't do that with this. Um, oh, these, this hand blows. Uh, we'll do this and see if we can bait out a reaction. Okay. Uh, I I hate Arsling Shred. I almost want to run Crown Province again. Like it's it's only on Talishar though. Like when I play in real life, Arsling Shred still feels really bad. But most of the time, people respect you and play like they're supposed to play. Um, people don't do that. I'm just gonna do it to get the damage. People don't do that in freaking uh, Talishar. They just say screw it, no blocks every single time. And then you have a shred in your arsenal for like 20 turns. <laughs> but in real life, it doesn't work that way. I don't know why they just keep taking damage. A third of their deck is gone, and it's 24 37. And we got two beacons and a Lumina. And they only have two soul. Take flight. Yeah. Got the go agains. Uh, we'll do this. I could have done frailty trap there, but I'd rather cover all this up. Might as well. We'll keep that on top. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know why they keep taking damage here. Because these turns are very lackluster. They created quicken. Cool. My list has a lot of non-attacks, so. 
What's up, Clement? How you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Assassin gang, yeah, for real, right? I'm excited. Like, Assassin still has a couple rough matchups for sure, but with Jeremiah leaving, it definitely propels the class a lot. Okay. Um, We'll sync the Celestial. Yeah. It's very interesting to do that here. Okay. What does it bring it down? Oh, we can use our shred now. Let's get it. I don't even care if he reacts again. I can get the shred on Arsenal. Stop IPing myself. Probably not going to make a silver off this, though. Not on Golf Light. It's actually a pretty good hit. We don't have a CNC, but we do have that. Hmm. Doing fine. I'm training you Ziri for Pro Tour and Callings right now. Feels great to have a team to train with. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, having a team helps. Definitely can bounce ideas off of each other. And it's just fun, you know? Fun playing with, you know, a p p group of people that enjoy the game as much as you do, right? It's like having an on-demand locals, but even more, like, efficient. No, for sure. Yuziri is definitely a fun one. Let's look up something here. Uh, hmm. Okay. Interesting. What you got for me? What do they play? Hold on, nothing. Ugh. I don't want. It's already got go again anyway. So yeah, it doesn't matter. It can hit. That's fine. It's already got go again anyway. And he's not gonna take soul off there to do this. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to keep joining up uh, open lobbies, Clement. So when I uh, do my thing, yeah, no worries. Interesting. I feel like we hold here. I feel like we could actually take damage for once in this matchup, which is funny. Lumina, huh? Dairy Dog. Luma has one card, right? Oh, it's put in the soul, right? So it's not a draw. Oh, that's loud. Let's turn that down just a tad, y'all. Um, yeah, we have to do this now. It's all right. That wasn't too big a deal. It's fine. Let's do this. Uh, what she got? Express lightning. Um, nah, it's fine. Glad to catch you streaming with two and one last night with a Rocky Sweet at your uh, at your local. I'm assuming. Uh, I'm gonna do this. That's awesome. Yeah, Arachne. I've been I've been two and one, or I've been most time two and one most times. I keep always like choking one round of my armories, but we have a really good group, so I ain't upset about it. Oh, that's a terrible arsenal. I mean, not terrible. It's not too bad. I guess it's a zero for four. What do we got here? Hmm, what's our turn look like? We're going to take a little damage here. Okay. Bolton Blade, I guess. Illuminate. 
Hmm. We can block with this now. Okay, so we can do two, one, one floating, or we just straight up. I don't think he's going to block seven here. Well, I can see why they ban Berserk and CC. Yeah, Berserk's just, it's such a fun card. Like, I love Medex Reinar, but it does, like, gatekeep the class. It's just, it's the same as Ether Wildfire. Like, not to bring up Kano discourse because I don't care, but um, I think that they could have. Oh, you know what I should have done? Screw me! I should have popped boots here, um, and made him have a reaction, and then done use my razor on this. It's fine. Oh, never mind. I would have to use it anyway. That works. Um, but yeah, Ether Wildfire is the same way. Like I think if I per maybe I'm wrong, I'm not a dev, but I personally think eventually they're gonna have to ban Ether Wildfire because it completely gatekeeps the wizard class. Unless you just go with some crazy route. Okay, this is pretty good. Are you letting me hit here? Okay, I was about to say. I was about to say. Wait, why did they not? Why did they not double D react my plunder the poor? Okay. That was a bad play on their end. They probably have Lumina here. Nope. They're just throwing Raiden for funsies. Okay. Um let, let's see if we can get them sleeping and see if they won't block the second attack and then we can get like a freaking 13 damage turn. I've been stressing because I only just now got all the documents that you get my passport. So I don't know. Yeah, the passport process is, that's a lot. It sucks. I had to do that military and in our military. New brute spoilers, new chat. Wait, are y'all like, oh, y'all are, y'all are trolling, right? Action destroy this attack extra cards with six or more costs. Wow. That's pretty good. I'll pull that up here in a second, but that's pretty good. Savage That's pretty dope. Now, I wonder you said I see why they banned Berserk. <laughs> yeah, that would have been broken with Berserk. Now it makes sense. That's funny. Are you just going to let me? Like, at this point, I literally could just deck you out. Like, unless you have a double Lumina turn, you're, you're pretty much dead here. Very interesting plays by this player. All to play Take Flight. Mm, interesting. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the four here because if you have Lumina, I'm just gonna block your your Lumina. Versus, actually, I'm dumb. I should have waited. I should have done. It. Okay, gracious, it's fine. Uh, we'll do this one first to make him do something. And one new blue attack action for five attack, but can't read the text. Yeah. And check the locals judge because when you pay for the cost of attack, it's on the stack, not the comma change the cube. Wait, chess piece is interesting for sure. So the passive doesn't apply. That makes sense. 
Getting two cards out of your hand? Okay. They have one more Lumina in the deck, but they only have one Beacon of Victory. Okay. It doesn't gain go again. Really comes down to how we want to do this. Yep. Mm. We can block with one more. <sighs> yep. Now I'm a threat in your life total for the most part. This game is all but wrapped up unless I really boo-boo. Yeah, Feast is also a brute card. So Feast would be zero cost. Would not cost you anything. So, but I mean, really, it, it does, sort of, because if that's the first card you're playing... Oh, no, it's just destroy this. Right, yeah, so Savage Feast would be free. <laughs> Which is pretty nuts. Soul Shield, okay. Uh, move on that. Yeah, yeah, Berserk made sense of why they banned it. Another Celestial Cat, that's also not good for them. Yeah, this game's over. They can't even threaten me for enough. What? Okay. This only just re... I mean, sure, do your best slide. I don't care. But, like, <laughs> only just change... Just undid and change his blocks. That's funny. It's all right. <laughs> do, do whatever line you got to do. It's practice. It's fine. This is funny, though. All good. Don't have to type back to me. I'm just giving you shit. What's up, Ty? How you doing, my friend? Has the current list changed much from your last one? I see you hold the line is new. Yeah, Martin. No, I was about to say it. No, you're good. I'm just messing. I'm just messing. Um. Yeah, I put in hold the lines just to, just to mess with them a little bit, Martin. I don't know if I like them yet. Because <laughs> you're already pretty good in a brute. Um. You know, you're already pretty good in a brute, so I don't know if hold lines are going to be worth it. I'm messing around. It's going to be a hold line or ripple away. There's just a lot of decks in the format that could potentially draw two cards. But the, when it doesn't work, it's just a shitty blue. It doesn't attack. doesn't go to your game plan. It's a situational card. In an Arachne, I don't like situational cards. So they changed their lime. Oh my gosh. Good brother almighty. So they did one line, blocked with a soul shield here, and then took this. And then I'm so confused right now. They're like, oh, wait, I actually need to charge. Can I do it again? <laughs> oh my gosh. What's up, Ty? So they have to hold a soul shield. 
That literally was the same exact line. So actually, a little bit less damage. No, same damage. They just kept a card. No go again. No way to give it go again. We're. Oh my gosh. Okay. I forgot they had Beacon of Victory. They didn't show they had Beacon of Victory in the hand. That's cool. It's okay. Whatever. They're going to go get Lumina and then play Lumina. It's fine. Whatever. Do they even have their last Lumina? No. Do they only have two Luminas in their deck? Or did that banish that third one? Okay. I don't know why I didn't block that, but I mean, even if I would have, it wouldn't have mattered. I think the best play here is to do this. And give them a frailty. Then just a straight six. This is one less damage, but it's a little bit more annoying for them. Especially since whatever this card is, it's probably a card they wanted to keep since they didn't. Lord have mercy, my friend. I'm trying to be nice here. I'm trying so hard. I mean, they lose here if they pretty much regardless. So it's fine. Uh, yeah, I mean, either way. If I block with already dead, they deal one more damage. I keep shred pit shred i'd rather keep an attack in my in my deck but i mean at this point it doesn't really matter i just blocked out the damage and then sent this they're dead no matter what i'm not gonna lie i wasn't thinking through an efficient play line there because the game's over and anyway Uh, let's do this. Um, GG's. GG. Okay. <laughs> okay. They're fighting till the end. I give it to them. GG. Yeah, they, they uh, took a little bit too much damage at the beginning. I did banish away a lot of their power cards right at the beginning, though. They kind of hurt. That kind of hurt. Where's the list for this? Um, I can make a copy of it. This is what I'm on right now. Uh, make a perfect copy of this deck. Post Pro Tour. It should be in the public list now. So if you just go to Dex, or yeah, Dex public and go to Arachne, it should be like one of the most recent ones. To win a pro quest with Arachne, good luck. It's gonna be a hard one, Nicholas, but I love it. I love it. I'm either on Arachne or probably probably Arachne easier if they're pro quest. I want to do Katsu, but I think Katsu's actually gonna be in a really rough spot post Jeremiah. Like the combo plan does work, but 
Yeah. All right, we've had deck here. What's up, Mad Link? How you doing, my friend? All right, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Just taking it, eh? Oh, we'll get rid of the sink. I've been loving the razors though in the main board. I'm repping tigers with the PQ. That's dope. I love that. Mm hmm. Gotta yeah, give me one more. Let's take it. We'll take it. Three damage and three cards. Got rid of a lightning strike too. That was a good one to get rid of. Okay. Yeah. Interesting to start with nerve. Codex of blood rot. That's interesting. <clears throat> Do you? Looking for a scrap. No, that's good because because if this doesn't hit, I mean they do have isolate. Never mind. I should have sunk that. Should have sunk it. Azalea is super fun when you're high rolling with Azalea. Who it feels good. It feels good. All right. Yeah, it doesn't matter for this. <clears throat> Conceal blade for the win, boy. We love to see it. Got rid of an infect, infiltrate, and enlighten strike. Isolate's gone. Yeah, this is the freaking car I didn't sink. Like a dum dum. Oh, uh, we can do this. It's fine. It's fine. They pitch a staying order, which is interesting to me. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's why we love Sigil and Arsenal, my friends. Um, we could have we could have tried to do the double attack here, but I don't think they're gonna block here, and I don't want to park that thing. Maybe get them thinking twice about this. They don't know what it could be. It could be a surgical. May we force a block here? What's up, Sam, my friend? Everyone, we have greatness in the chat. Sam O'Burn. What's up, my brother? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Hopefully you got home safe. Even though it wasn't a long drive for you. <laughs> Hopefully I can pilot Arachne as well as Sam piloted Arachne on the three floating, most recent three floating video. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Sam pilots Arachne and plays um, 
against Uber Shouts. Mitch Leslie. Really, really good game. We let both hit here, which is really interesting. Greatness on the screen. We're like, nah. Greatness all the time, my friend. Okay. Very interesting. Fate and a sink out of them. Oh, we have a Oasis, which is really nice here on. Not seeing my deck link show up on February. I don't know. It's public. Like, if you look at public deck lists. Oops. Sorry, if you want to give me a second. Is it not showing up? Oh, uh, you know what happened? I probably didn't hit save when I changed the settings. No, it's public. That's weird. All right, I'll link you here in a second. Um, give me two seconds. I'll link it in chat. Uh, where are you? Sorry, uh, if you want to um, freaking multitasking here, which I am terrible at. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be able to pin chats here. Okay. Sorry, my friend. Okay, we should be good, y'all. There you go. Shakedown, huh? What do we want to do here? Hmm. Do we play around the shred? I don't think we play around the shred. I'm going to make him have it. I'm going to make him have it. I'm going to make him have it. They got it. They got it. Okay, they don't. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's see. Let's just see a good old buff power for seven. No disruption here, which feels a little bad, but. Also, our people are in here tomorrow um, at 8 Central. I'll be on the Give and Take podcast, as per usual, with DM Armada and Breezy. And we also have special guest Flake stopping by. So that'll be at, uh, yeah, 8 Central on DM Armada's uh, channel. So definitely check that out. Uh, do we just take this? I feel like we just take this. No, we don't. We don't just take this. We make them have it. It's probably have a shred. We just got to make them have it here. There it is. You know, pop boots. Yep, yeah, there it is. That's fine. It is what it is. Codex. Okay. That's just annoying. Um... Yeah, we'll do this. Actually, no, I won't do. Sorry. I didn't think about it. Um, yeah, we're going to give them both anyway. Mm, sink that sucker. Uh, 14 blues isn't low at all, Adam. Most of the performing arachne lists are on around 14 to 16 blues. If you uh, if you go to like Fab Dojo and look at all the top eight lists from RTN season, they're all on about 14 to 16 blues. You're not looking to dagger every turn in this meta. Honestly, assassin is gonna be a lot better. Codes, I feel a lot better about the deck. Oh god, here we go. Um, what do we got coming up? We'll do this, and then if they shred it, it's fine. Uh, 
Okay. We're going to give up Tunic here on Oasis, which feels a little bad. It is what it is. We're a little bit behind right now. Um, definitely a little bit behind in tempo. We need to string together some turns. One sink and one fate are gone. That's it. So they have four more defense reactions. We have a lot more defensive tools than they do, so late game will be fine. We just got to make sure we stay even on life parity. Uh, Blood Art Trap is pretty decent. Um, Nicholas, I just prefer Inertia Trap and Frailty Trap. I think both of those are better. And because I have both of those in, I can't... Um, because I have both of those in, I can't find room for Blood Rot too. But Blood Rot's not bad. It's just like most people don't care. I'd rather... I'd rather give people frailties and nurses. Blood Rot out of all three is kind of like the least impactful. Oh, Lordy, have mercy here. What do we bait out here, y'all? It's a good one. It's a good one. Two blood rods, not bad. Although, yeah, four damage does suck on our turn, but it is what it is. I feel like there's a lot of poker type stuff with this class. There is, codes. This class is way different in person than it is not. Way different. <laughs> This, like, Arachne is way better in person than on Talishar. It's a lot lot harder for the opponent to really think about what they got to do. Uh, nope, nope, that's fine. Ooh, very defensive hand. Let's get rid of the Shred. Okay. Maybe we can do this again. And we get another yellow shred. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so funny. Yo, yo. The sub. Ray, what are you doing, my friend? Ray with the five gifted again. Y'all, Ray gifted five subs last stream. I don't know what you're doing, Ray, but you're nuts. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Y'all, whoever got the gift from Ray, please say thank you in chat. She, you are awesome. They are awesome. Where are my subs? Why aren't they popping up? Are they behind something? That's why. They're behind. Subs need to be up here. Okay. Yeah, they're coming in now. Ray, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Absolutely insane. Ray is gifted 10 subs this month. I don't know what I did during that, but thank you so much. Um, I don't know how to... Okay, that's fine. Can we expect a birthday stream? You saying that knowing I can't do that. <laughs> a birthday stream? I can't do a birthday stream. I could do it during the day. I don't know. That's if I had a birthday. I don't I don't. I don't know what my birthday is. I don't know what you're talking about. Lord have mercy. Okay. That's our third oasis, I think. Uh, 
That's the second oasis. Okay. What is this birthday you speak of? Uh, we're just going to bet that they don't have it. Um, please don't have it. I'd be very sad. You were behind stream by like 30 minutes. That sucks. They must have a spreading plague. I'm assuming this is a spreading plague thought. Because if this was a cut or a shred, you would just slam this. Sure. Gonna pay for that one later. I don't like flicking in this matchup unless I am literally about to die and I need this play to win. This happens when you and the boss don't agree. <laughs> Long time lurker, geez, I wanted to say that I was wrong. That's awesome, Zai. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad that. You know, my mediocre play can inspire others to play the game. That's awesome. Hopefully you've been enjoying interacting. That's awesome to hear. Thank you so much for telling me that. When I came back to Fab, I learned a lot from your channel with Katsu Kane. Oh, you man. I'm glad, Ray. I'm glad that it, it did that for you. I'm glad that that's what I've lately. I've just been trying to have my channel be that platform. You know, I, I, I know I'm not always going to like be the best player in the world, but if I can make people like happy about playing the game that's what i care about this is probably a codex i'm assuming uh, hold up that's a little loud little loud uh, oof. it's fine Codex of Blood Rot. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll see that. Thoughts on the new Brute equipment? Yeah, I saw it briefly. I mean, I get why they... I mean, they probably banned Berserk for more than just that chess piece. But it's pretty good. I mean, Savage Feast is now free. Um, that's fine. Savage Feast is now free, which is pretty nutty. What other one cost attacks are now free? Uh, Savage Swing gets better. Uh, yeah, Swing with Big Tree is now can be played like for one. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's like can really break that class. So I get I get why they ban Berserk. It makes sense now. Cut to the chase and command and conquer, huh? This is probably a codex. No, nope, never mind. I keep thinking it's gonna be a codex, and it never is. Uh, let's see, plunder the floor, see if we can raise this thing. I've never learned a class from someone who's genuinely passionate about the class and someone who's just a good player and plays it. No, I can I can agree with that. Um, I can definitely see what you're saying there. Whenever you, like, for me, my, the first person I ever watched that I truly enjoyed was Tyler Broughton um, on Katsu back when he won some of, like, RT and PQ stuff or old RT and stuff. That was, like, you could just tell he loved the hero, and like that's what got me on fire for Katsu. Um, so I totally get what you're saying there. I'm about to Arsenal Oasis again when I. All right, we're ahead in cards right now. We're at 30. They're about to be at 24, 25, 6, 7. They're at 28 currently, potentially 27. I don't think this is going to go to fatigue, but. We're currently ahead, and we have more defensive pieces in deck right now, I think, than they do. Thoughts on the new brood equipment? Yeah, the brood equipment is sick. Also, sigils always. Also, respective on ninja and assassin. I watched a lot of your five videos. Fun. Sorry. Yeah, Fi is fun. Fi is not my favorite by any means, but yeah, no, when Fi first came out, that was one of them. 
the month that Vi came out was the most successful month we've ever had on the channel in terms of raw views. Um, but interesting. You gonna you gonna psych? Okay, yeah. That's fine. We got rid of another card, and we got rid of the arsenal, whatever it was. <clears throat> Um, let's see what it is. Uh, let's do this first, just in case it's a CNC. Actually, if it would have been a CNC, it didn't matter. I'm done. Okay, it's a shakedown. Nice. Um, shakedown. Oh, they're on Xavier's list. Same list I'm on. It's cracked. Yuziri lists aren't too, like, differentiating, usually. It's usually onesie or twosie things. I kind of want to get rid of this Codex of Blood Rot. We're going to do it. This is a situation where making the silver and getting our boots back is actually very important. They might have an RD React. If they got it, they got it. They're going to sink this, though. Let's see if they sink this. Yeah, they sunk. Okay, so they got their Codex of Brother Rot. That's fine. I thought I didn't think about that when I was flicking. That was a misplay on my part. That's fine, though. Yeah, Blood Rot's good. I have, I'm on two Blood Rot in my user list. Blood Rot's a good, a solid tech. Oh, this stuff, but I don't care what he what they tell me to do here. We're definitely winning the matchup right now, though. We're ahead in cards. We have way more defensive pieces in deck. They would have to really string together some power turns to win this game. Let's put you down here. Um... What are we doing here? It's going to deal one damage. Cool. Let's pick black text. We have one floating when we do that. and we Okay, we're fine. Then we can cycle out these pieces. <clears throat> yeah, no, Blood Rot I think is underrated. I don't know if I'd run a three of, personally. That's just my opinion. I think three is a little bit clunky. Like, especially when you have to fat deck in a matchup like this, like having three Codex of Blood Rods and Frailties, and then you also have defense pieces, you literally just draw absolute, like, unusable hands. So I personally wouldn't run 3-3, three, three, but it might work. It's going to be fun to see what Yuzirius do with Jeremiah Gong, because Yuzirius can get a lot more, I think, uh, creative with deck building. Prism's still going to be a little bit, you know, interesting, but... It's definitely winnable. Oh, you would. You would, my friend. Do we just take the damage here and set up a codex turn? Do we just take the... I mean, we don't have to take the full six here. We can, like... Yeah, I think we just take three here. And we just let it hit. Because I want my arsenal to be empty on this turn. Honestly, this is the most telegraph play in the world. If I let my arsenal go free to then pitch a codex, they know I have codex in hand. Like, without a shadow of a doubt, I have codex. Uh, they might have their last oasis. They do have Crown Province. I've been trying to make them use it. Mm. 
Uh, yeah, I'll get it here in a second, Koss. Um, I don't. Yeah, I'm still messing with a lot of things. So a lot of my choices are really like different, but I'll definitely sh sh shoot it over. Enigma will keep us in check. I don't know codes. I'm really interested to see how good Enigma actually ends up being. I'm really interested to see how good Enigma ends up being. Ward is a fickle thing because normally most of the time when you have a deck based off Ward, it doesn't block well. And you really have to rely on Ward. So if you get behind even a little bit, it really hurts. I don't know. That's just my opinion. We'll see if I'm wrong. New makes me want to play Assassin. Yeah, it makes a lot of people want to play Assassin, I think. I think News can be really popular, regardless of how good they are. It blocked a little bit of damage, I guess. Okay. Oh, and we draw into a fate. That is absolutely perfect. We got to keep these surgicals in deck. My opinion, user is better, but Arachne is fun. I would challenge that codes a little bit. I think, honestly, a lot of talented players are just playing Yuzuri. But to be completely honest with you, I don't, I personally don't think Yuzuri is that much better than Arachne. I think just a lot of uh, more talented players play Yuzuri because it's naturally perceived as the better hero. But I think that their their power level, especially with Jeremiah being gone, is very different. Is uh, is very uh, equal. Just my opinion. Uh, at this point, we don't have this fish for yellows. This is okay. Pass blocks here. Yuziri has the ability because of her flip to really like, you know, um, take tempo sometimes and really guarantee that disruption. But Arachne, the biggest thing about Arachne, I've said this before, is every player from like top, top players on teams to the casual player completely just doesn't take into account the opt effect that Arachne has and being able to bottom power cards, being able to guarantee silver hits, like all that stuff. Like it's... It's pretty nutty, actually, how much it's discredited, to be honest with you. Yep, there's Codex. And CNC. Yep. Uh yeah, we just keep keep threats in deck. We're winning on we're winning on the the deck here. They're at 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're at 18. We'll go ahead and cycle this. Yeah, Arachne does disrupt like crazy. I, I, I think, like, is Yuziri better? I do think she, like, edges out Arachne, but I do not think it's, like, I think it's literally like this. She has a slightly better, she has a better Guardian matchup. That's pretty much it. But Arachne is way better at defending. Um, this is why popping your nerve scapel. I have mine popped too. But why popping your nerve scapel is really risky because late game, like you can't get around reactions as easy. Um, What's your local meta cost? Is this something specific? Let's see what this is. Uh, we'll buy on that. Yeah, it's a CNC, I thought so. That's fine. See, Codes, I would love to play you sometime in your Guardian because I'm telling you right now, if you don't block Arachne, I will, I will beat you. <laughs> like, I will beat you. And if you don't care what I do and you, let, and you give me space to use my reactions, every time I beat a Bravo, it's because they play that way. Every time. 
if you just need one card, if you're just gonna swing hammer like and give me space to do that, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna punch through and I'm gonna beat you. Um, we gotta keep that. Oh, they took it here. Okay. The only guardian I really struggle with hard right now is Victor and like super heavy fatigue Bravo. Uh. And there's your inertia trap. Hopefully you get rid of your plan. It's interesting that Guardian is not favored for Arachne at all by any means. I'm just saying, like, if you don't care what Arachne does, that's when Arachne beats you. Oh, this hand is so trash. I mean, I can get rid of a card from their deck just to get rid of it. Flip me. What you got for me? Shred? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. They use their whole hand there. Good on them. A little bit of the danger zone here. A little bit of the danger zone here. I find it as useful exercise to go, what's the worst that could happen and plan for that pretty easily? True. Um, but if you plan that way, sometimes, like if you plan what's the worst that could happen and then you play around that and then it doesn't happen then you over blocked and then you just and then our arsenal de react and we call it a day that that's why the assassin is so good in general it's because of that very reason what you got spreading plague okay that's fine we can pay into one of it uh one two three four almost can pay in all of it No, there we are selling this. All right. Well, might be a little bit in trouble here. We'll have to see. Depends what they got. Okay. So we have to keep a blue for next turn. Um, we'll do this. I don't know what they got, so I'm just going to do both. Just overblock here. What you got? If they have a shred here, we're pretty much screwed anyway. I should have I should have cared more and looked into their grave. But I didn't. Okay. Um... Do we have any other lines here that we can do? If we pitch this, we have two left. If we over pitch here, no, but because they can play around that, we just got to do it this way. Uh, it depends, Adam, on the matchup. But typically, 66 is like the main, and then fat decking is 69. But typically, 63 is 69 cards is about where I sit on most matchups. Those spreading plagues really made a difference for them. They they netted six damage on the spreading plagues. Very, very good.
They have to give me at least one card, right? Oh, give me two. They gave me a cut to the chase and an infiltrate. Uh, can't let this hit. Can they use it? They have an isolate in hand, right? They have an isolate in hand. We know that. I should have been keep track of their pitch. This is the problem when I play on stream. I don't do the fundamentals correctly. <laughs> it's so bad. I don't know what's in their hand. I, I would know if I literally paid a remote attention. It's so pathetic on my end. We pitching. All right, they have the isolate in hand. We don't need this. All right, they don't have a shred because if they did, then they have the isolate. They have an infect. This is very interesting. I feel like I'm fine here unless they have something crazy. They don't have a six power. They would have already won. They would have slammed this. Okay. They can go get a... Oh, they can go get that. So we have to... We have to go get... They can go get a death touch, but we can block it. Oh, they're going to get command and conquer. Very interesting. Does it matter? No. We get rid of this. We block six here. Hoping I have a D react. Uh, and then they just have an infect. So the game's over. Actually, no, it's not. They win. Wow, they won. Good job. Good game. Actually, no, they don't. Oh, they do. Nice. Good game. GG. Oh, GG. Good game. I made some mistakes. Good game. Yeah, I mean, I'm not watching pitch. I'm not. I'm not checking threats and deck. I could have won that game if I was not on stream. <laughs> I would have won that game if I wasn't on stream. But can't make that excuse when you're playing on stream. Because that that matchup requires so much in terms of watching pitch and everything else. Um. Definitely this, definitely Oasis. Inertia Trap's actually pretty good too. Have a good night, Ray. Thank you so much again for the subs. You did not have to do that. You're awesome. Stay safe. All right, what do we got here? Goliath Gauntlet, so pretty standard. They're fat decking. Very interesting. Very interesting. And starting with Pounder. Hmm. Okay. Starting with High Octane right off the bat. <laughs> okay. Oh, they have a reinforced line, though. This is a little bit dicey. A little bit dicey. 
Oh, oh, wait, undo, 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 undo. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. I forgot about Pelander. I'm not just going to take damage for no reason. Uh, sure. Okay. Interesting. That was a very interesting uh, play there. Uh, we'll do this. We can actually play coercive here. It's a decent coercive play. Those look nice. Those are nice. Yeah, they have. What company is it? That same, the one where I got your Demon Slayer head. Oh, yeah. It's them. Yeah, be done. How long is the collection out for? Uh, not long at all. Like, it's, they, I just got the email. No, I sold out of stuff? Uh, yeah. We can do it. I'm down. Um, twin drive. Oh, you're good. What's up? I, I haven't finished the show, so I don't know which one's which. What do you mean? So they're charcoal, so they, you can't name them by the actual name. Uh-huh. Anything yellow or red is the main characters, if that helps. It's not the sword like that. Oh, uh, gotcha. Okay. So I think that one's the dude. Yeah, Clement, playing that matchup is almost impossible when I'm not paying attention like I should be. I wasn't tracking pitch like I should be. It wasn't. It was bad. Um, We'll do this. But that can't use that excuse. I just got to play correctly. Yeah, I wouldn't, the only well, the only mistake I saw you make mistake, Clement, was I wouldn't have popped nerve scapel on that play. I don't, I just don't like popping nerve until like the very freaking end. Okay. To survive pounder. Do you think Arachne is viable this PQ season? Oh, 100%. Once Jeremiah's gone talk, I think Arachne definitely can win games. I mean, Arachne had top eight in RTN seasons um, with uh, Jeremiah in the format. So I definitely 100% think it's a viable deck. Is it like high meta pick? Like you're putting yourself in the best possible position to win? Maybe not, but like you're still doing very good. They don't have chamber out. Interesting. I'm just going to keep doing this. Oh. Uh, we'll bomb a spark of genius. I can't take a chance. Well, that looks nice. That's his upgrade. Mm hmm. In the purple, forest green, charcoal. I have to look at him. Let me see it again. Black, green, pink, purple. Uh, this is what the front looks like. I'd probably honestly go with the brown. Really? I don't know. It looks kind of cool to me. Okay. Staying order is pretty good. I don't know if I'd put staying order in the list post Stromai. I don't think it's like the gain is worth it. I think you can have more disruptive cards. But... It's very good in the Jeremiah meta. I don't think it's as, as good in the post Jeremiah meta. Yeah, you, I agree with you. Zuri Arachne matchup is very 50 50 because both heroes are essentially doing the same thing. Like, Zuri has the flip, but Arachne has the deck control. So it's like, you know, it's both. 
for sure. I 100% agree with you. Um, do we take two here or give it? I think we just do this. Lock out four, take two. That's fine. Let's free up our arsenal. And I can do this play. I don't think it's a risky pick. I think the Guardian matchup, it all depends. Talk. It's definitely not favored, but it's, it's like, Bravo's fine. Unless it's, like, one of those crazy Bravo, not crazy, like, they have stuff, but, like, the Bravos that are, like, Unless it's the Bravos that are running, like, Sync, Fate, Sigil, Oasis, which I've played last RTN season, with, like, blue unmovables and staunches. Like, yes, those Bravos suck. Um, okay. Interesting. Are they cycling? They did not cycle. I don't think. Well, we're about to find out. They play Pounder, they cycled. Uh, I'm going to keep this. I right, know they have a card in their hand that doesn't block. So that's good. Yeah, it does help you to rotate an arsenal for sure. No, I, I mean, I've been on staying. I've had two staying orders in my list specifically. So I get it 100%. Um, I just think post Jeremiah, it's it's like, what are you trying to do? Wow, they just took that shit and they got two Max V's banished, a pulse wave, and a spark. We are happy with that one. That was a good, good banish for us. Just got in the game a couple weeks ago, Gila. How have you been liking it so far? What have you been playing? No, Bravo doesn't suck. Bravo is a good solid deck. Like I don't know if it's, like, top of the meta, but it's, like, right in the middle. Bravo's always been that way, right? Bravo's just the king of consistent value. Um, and Bravo's a great deck to start on because it teaches you the, like, fundamentals of flesh and blood. So, Bravo, Ira. Um, like, Ira is always a good one, even though it's CC. It's Living Legend and Blitz, but um, Bravo, like, there's definitely some good stuff. For sure. Uh, we'll show you two. Don't show the shred. Probably another pulse wave here. Interesting. Induction chamber. No, we're getting rid of that son of a gun. Uh, unmovable solid yeah bye bye thanks for the extra silver let's go we're doing pretty good here yeah that's what little guys told me start with bravo then go from there yeah bravo's perfect Perfect starting here. Hundred percent agree with your friends. And it's it's relatively cheap. Relatively cheap. Cost, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate you, my friend. Welcome. Saw you in chat earlier. Been chilling. Hopefully you're enjoying yourself. What you got here? Backup protocol. Can you go get a zero sixty? Good. Yeah, it's not expensive. That's a good thing. Because that's always going to be the barrier to entry in this game. It's definitely better than it used to be. Decks are relatively cheaper than they used to be. Uh, what? Come on, man. Why do people do this? If you join an Arachne game, like, I would rather have the misbreeding. That's what I figured. But there's also a blue lock one. Still would rather have the misbreeding. It's Ninja. Well, show me the blue lock, but. 
If you play Arachne, you know what you're signing up for. Why do you quit halfway through? It's a crew neck. It's not really. That's fine. I'd, I'd almost would rather have a shirt. Ooh. I like that. I'd rather have that than a hoodie. Okay. Large? Yeah. It's sold out. <laughs> They're quick. They're quick with it. Uh, for LT. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You can shrink it in cold water a little bit if you need to. The whole group in my local TC scene is going crazy for new waifu. Yeah, that I've, she's going to get that type of reception for a bit. She looks really fun. Oh, uh, we just sink that right away. That way, if they overblock, they don't see it forever unless they beacon. Watch, they're not going to block this, and I'm going to get really upset. Or they're not going to overblock this, and I could have gotten rid of Spirit immediately. Yep, they're not going to overblock this. I'm upset. Man, every time I think someone's going to respect my plays, they don't. And it makes me really mad. I mean, we got rid of V for the Vanguard, whatever. Every time, I guess. Having a good card into Jeremiah was a bonus. It's honestly a great card just into a six of codex. True, it is a good codex target, Clement. I didn't even think about that. You're 100% right on that one. I didn't even think of it in that fast. I'm always thinking of like a disruptive target, but if you don't have any resource flow and you don't have a leave, like, or you don't think leave's going to hit, and you just want to go for the cold damage, definitely get that one. Uh, what we got here? trying to kill me here snap it no it won't do that you ain't getting arsenal my friend you crazy they had to read hold the line i only have one hold the line in paper i have not gotten the second one yet because they're 18 dollars right now and i'm not paying that right now i'm not paying 18 dollars for hold the line cold damage not what we want but Honestly, we could have baited and given him an arsenal, but interesting. Probably has a way to react here. Let's go. We'll take those. So they just took six for literally no reason. Yeah, I'm super excited for new as well. I just love Assassin. And it's such a different assassin, right? Like, all the assassins so far, even these here have been kind of grimy, like, dark, whatever, right? Like, this assassin might be elegant and more, like, tasteful and fun, especially in the artwork. So I'm super excited about that. Like I said in my recent video, if y'all want to go watch it today, where I did, like, assassin, pr not predictions, but, like, what I'd like to see. Yeah. Oh, I'd wish I had a shred right now to punish the fuck out of you. Grains of blood spill in Bolton raid raid in Bolton is very interesting. Very interesting choice. Oof eighteen got a play set about two weeks ago for eleven a piece. Yeah. Pizza deck was used, Addy. Uh B for the Vanguard. I think we can take this here. It just has go again. There's literally no reason to block this right now, especially if this is a turn that I am assuming. But they are going to Lumina here. It's fine. I think I might take hold the lines out, though. I haven't been impressed with it. I've been testing it a good amount in a brew, and, like, it's just such a situational card. Like, even in brew, if it's not on a draw turn, like, kind of sucks. Especially in Arachne. Um, 
No, that's fine. Yeah, but even with the one cost attack reacts, Martin, I don't know if that's enough to run grains. I've just I've never seen a Bolton run grains, but maybe I'm just not on the Bolton tech. <sighs> yep. It gets go again no matter what here. We're just gonna take this, see what comes up. No point in blocking and still taking one. They're gonna draw a card, I guess. You gotta banish three cards. Or is it up to three cards? Up to you. So they're going to choose draw a card, I'm assuming. What? I got messed up. <laughs> I didn't get the cyberpunk. Huh? I didn't get the cyberpunk. Which is what I got. We're going to go for a high damage line here. This is a good turn by them, but there's not much we can do here. Just grains is really interesting. Because in, most of the time you're ending a turn with Raiden... You know, so, like, is it really worth it? Okay, if we block two here, sure. That was a good turn by them. And there wasn't much we could do there. Our hand is not very good at blocking. Uh, no, eliminate's fine. Maybe they're just having it for more block value. It's possible. Ooh, Clemson's beating Arizona. About three, two minutes ago. Man, they are ballsy with their temper equipment. I mean, I guess versus is going no matter what, but sick. Goblet. Oh, their hand didn't block very well, did it? I have no soul going in the next turn. I'm going to make them do something this next turn. I'm just going to block. They're going to end the turn with no soul. Not playing this game as well as I could have. Oh, shit. Well, you know it's an arsenal now. It is what it is. Accidentally flipped the card on the table. Okay. Um. All right. They have no way of giving. I mean, they have a quicken token, so that'll pop it. What with Raiden? They'll pop it. This. Um. I think we make them give two cards here. Blocking three doesn't make much sense. They're going to pay into this. Yep. All right, well. Because they saw my hand, they paid into it. It is what it is. It was my fault for clicking the button. <laughs> they would have arsenaled that Lumina Lance. Uh, they might have not, actually, because they don't have a... A lot of soul. What time is it? Nine twelve. It's getting late already. I started later than I thought I did. I think we need to become a little bit more defensive. They have three luminous still in the deck. Which is not fun for us, depending on the hand we draw. Life parity doesn't matter as much now. I'm confused as to what they're thinking about. Their hand must be kind of weird with no soul, is my assumption, because they wouldn't be thinking about this block if it was. Is that the one you got? The upper moon, 
That's sick. It's embroidered, like yours is. So we got these two? Uh huh. Let's go. Yours is an extra large and mine's a large, but yours is still down to large. Hey, Lily Pad. Do you just eat? You licking your chops? I love how they did refresh the page. They have a refresh the page thing now. I don't. Are you there? What are we doing here? I'm a. Oh, okay. It passed. Maybe it's me that needs to keep refreshing the page. Sorry, my friend. It's just there's nothing you can be thinking about here. You can't play defense reactions. Yo, yo. Um, no, Magenta, I don't think they're going to spike super crazy. The only thing that's really spiking right now is infiltrate a little bit, not too much. It's still, like, definitely fine. Already dead. Like, that's the one that's always going to be expensive. It's just always going to be that way. My friend, this is a CNC that you can't react to. What are we doing here? Right? All right, if it goes inactive again, I'm going to hit the button because I don't feel like dealing with this. I'm sorry, my friend, but refresh the page. I want to play games. I do not want to stop and play again. That's not very fun. It's not very cash money. Yo, for anyone that's in the channel that's been watching the videos the past week, thank you so much. Like, we're about to hit the seventh video in a row to hit over a thousand views. And I really don't care about like how many views I do or don't get, but I do notice when like stuff spiking. And I guess it's the pro tour mixed with the heroes and everybody's super excited, but like y'all are awesome. Like, thank y'all so much. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Yeah, they went and did something for sure. Um, give it go again, I guess. Like, we're about to be at 1,000 views on today's video, and it hasn't even been 12 hours. It's sick. Y'all are actually killing it. Been trying to make relevant content that's fun and just fun to talk about, especially in times like this. I feel like the next month is gonna be really fun for videos. A lot of cool stuff to talk about. Again, if you're if you were in here earlier, make sure you tune into DM Armada's stream tomorrow at eight central. We're going to be doing the Give and Take podcast. We're going to have Flake on. It's going to be a fun time. Me, Breezy, Armada, Flake. It's going to be great. This is if it hits, goes in my soul. Uh, I don't think we're going to flick here. Yo, Magenta, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate you. I don't know if blocking with Flick Knives is the best play here, but double frailty seems good. Watch them have Lumina here. Okay. Rain for one. Hiya. Yeah, of course, Martin. Yeah, he uh, Armada's been uploading the VOD, so you won't have an issue with that. Report a bug usually helps. Okay. Interesting. They don't have soul. They're very starved for soul right now, which is good for us.
Yeah, his hand's a little iffy. Sure. How about that? Oh, they probably chose when this hits against go again. So they just gave up soul for literally no reason. That sucks. I have not seen Illumina. Are they not running it, or are they just getting insanely unlucky with where it's at? They All their Illumina, which is scary as crap. I'm about to be at 14 life and probably get tri natural triple Illumina. But they don't have any soul, so we're still in a good spot. I just enjoy when you all interact with chat. Good show. Did the 3D comedy idea. Yeah, Martin, we all came up with it just randomly one day. We were like, this sounds dope. Let's do it. Um, yeah. Super fun time. Oh, this is this is interesting. We're gonna inertia trap this. This probably changes how they have to block here, I'm assuming. Or how they have to play here. If this is illuminated, it changes it. What do we got here? Mm. Yep. No more soul, which is good. Oh, there's a soul. <laughs> oh, they got their soul back. Okay, we're a little bit actually in a really dicey spot here. They only have one soul, which is good for us, but... Yeah, it, it helps, Martin, when you're all friends, right? Like, it makes it a lot easier. We're really starting to want to be more, like, how do I put this... We want it to not just be meta talk all the time. Uh, I'm going to go like this. Just in case they have a beacon. I haven't seen a beacon either. No beacons. There's two Vs. There's a third V. Yeah, no beacons. And no luminous so far. Is this just like some weird... Like, what is this? I'm so confused. Okay, there's Lumina. Okay. And, uh... Okay, now you beacon. I guess you beacon both. Well, you can't play at an instant speed. Okay. This is a very interesting play. They're not going to kill me here. All right. All right. They just used all three beacons, or all three luminous in the same turn with a beacon. Now I'm going to chat stops and maybe reading like ISP so much. Yeah, exactly. There, there needs to be more... The game is slowly getting there, but it needs to get a little, not all the way out because it is Flesh and Blood's calling card, but it needs to get a little bit out of the constant, just like serious meta talk 24 7. Like, let's have some fun discussions. You know what I mean? Like, um, it gets a little bit nauseating when it's like, you know, when it's constant meta all the time, no matter what, right? Okay. This is very interesting. Plus two, Lumina, okay. We can block all this out. Uh, could we screw ourselves? Let's get rid of you. 
We could have screwed ourselves with an oasis, actually. Okay. No soul. No way to do any shisty business with beacon. No luminous. So one beacon, two lumina, all three lumina, two beacon, two beacon, one V. Two beacon, one B, three beacon, one B, three beacon, two B. What's up, Martin? Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right, so they have one more V of the Vanguard left. That's it. That's all we got left here. Let's bomb you. Ooh, that's interesting. This is interesting. This is interesting. This is interesting. Okay, they quit too. I was at four life. I guess you have no way of giving anything go again. I'm tired of people quitting. Just play the game out. Even when I'm going to lose, I play the game out. Like you played Arachne. Oh, Martin, thank you so much for, this, for the member. I thought it was a general sub. It said sub in the top right. Martin, thank you so much for Sensei level. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Y'all are awesome. I did when I did the channel membership thing, I was like, I'll just like activate this and you know, if people want to do it, that'll be cool. I did not expect to have the amount of members that we have right now in a month. Well, this is gonna be a rough one. Um Yeah, y'all are awesome. Let's see. I wanna go first here. I always wonder if I want to run Oasis in this matchup. It's nice for the gaining life. They're dropping like you were a Kano player, right? I Listen, I don't enjoy playing against Kano, but I don't dislike Kano to the level of, like, it needs to not be in the game or something, right? It's just something I don't enjoy playing against, but I'm never going to, like, advocate for the deck to not be in the game right all right we got to keep our surgicals in deck that is number one game plan in this in this matchup keep surgicals in deck keep surgicals in deck mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we're gonna make them give up everything here their whole hand so four cards for one it's pretty good uh we'll sink that in the swing uh, yep, there we go. Very interesting. I guess they're just doing dynamo for the fun of it. Okay, four cards to one, turn one. We're we're in good spot there. That's that's nice. You deliver really sincere content. You keep your desire to do this full time. We'll try, Martin. I'm I'm gonna do as much as I can. Um, it's such a struggle to like want to do it full time, but also like want to keep it fun. If that makes sense, right? Like I'm trying not to have pressure on it. I'm just trying to like enjoy it and then hopefully people enjoy it alongside me. Like as cheesy as that freaking sounds. Um, yeah. That's the goal. They pitched a blade runner, which is very interesting to me. Okay. Uh, in that case, <sighs> pitching away surgical like this sucks. Because it's close to that other surgical. I'm about to just play the surgical out. It feels really bad. Actually, I should have pitched it away. I should have, but it's really, I don't want to have two razors in my hand. They don't have dynamos up though, so we could use surgical to get rid of some armor here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll sink that over power. AB4 Oasis, Rhinar, sheesh, they are scared of Kano. Rhinar's a good matchup for, like, into Kano. I'm surprised they, like, were like that. Do we do it here? No. There's no way we do it here. They're, they're trying to bait out that nerve scapula. We're not doing that. We ain't doing that. No, sir. Yep, 
Yeah, that's a very interesting. Like they have that much Kano hate as a Reinar. It's normally pretty good for for Reinar. Okay, we're definitely weighing in deck size, but okay, we got to keep him off gold. Probably not, not going to here. We have no reactions. This is going to be a little rough. Ah, well, they made it easy for us. Well, I guess they just wanted to get the dominate off. Man, their hand must have been super clunky. Uh, let's do this. They have to give us three cards here. Oh, we'll sink that spoil. Let's get that out of here. Giving us three cards would feel really good right now. And if they want to block with equipment, man, they better hope to God that they can get it to not hit. I'm assuming they can block nine here. There's no way you throw equipment in front of this if you can't. Like, I would, like, if I'm blocking with equipment here, I'm playing around shred and a cut to the chase or double shred. Like, I, I should be able to block, like, 10 or 11 here. I'm assuming they have a double D react here. Go to it five. If he D reacts here, I'm going to do it. I think this is the best time to do it. Getting rid of their Brage Force Bracers feels pretty good. Feels like it's worth a nerve scalpel. We're never going to get rid of this thing ever. So I'm feeling pretty good about that one. See what you do. Can you give me an RD? You're not? Oh, I thought they were going to give me an RD react. What? Okay. Well, there goes their Brage Force Bracers. I wanted to ask who hurt you. Like, for real, yeah. That can't. That Reinar got blown up by a Kano turn one, probably, and was like, I'm never going to do this again. <laughs> there ain't no way. That is truly a who, like, what Kano hurt you moment. Although, from what I heard, a lot of the KOs of the Pro Tour were like on like AB3 or like AB2 with Spellboid, which is pretty good. Okay, we have a slice and dice hit and run play. First one's coming in for three. Next one's coming in for four. We can do this. And they take a sigh here. Okay, Iron Song. We don't want them making gold to save our freaking life. No, sir. No, sir. You are not making gold. Wow. Okay. You really want that gold. You can have it. Good Lord almighty. Oh, let's see if we can get lucky here. Nope. Also, when we get lucky and like draw into a. Okay. So the next one's coming in for a lot though. We're going to have to block. We're not going to be able to block it all out, but. Uh, uh, we value our life here. That sucks. We can't play around Iron Song response, red blade flurry. I'm not playing around that. All right. Yeah, I agree. Mix of AB and Spell Void. Okay, so we're not starting off well. We want to keep the life parodies equal, right? We're doing well in deck size right now, but we're not doing well in life. <sighs> Kasai again. Okay. Spoils. Makes sense to me. Okay. This next one's going to come in for five. Okay. Yeah. Four. Um, five. Eight. You're not making a gold. Nope. They actually might still make gold. Because they get plus three on the next one. Blade Flurry, Iron Song Response, in the swing. Go ahead, punish me. 
Nope. And they got an airstrike. Okay. We bought a little bit of room. Uh, yellow slice and dice. And give it a go again. Nothing. Uh huh. Sick. So it's essentially going to come in for the same amount. Okay. Uh, honestly, we probably should have shouldn't have scale peeled there. Yeah, we shouldn't have scale peeled there. It's fine though. Maybe we can get them to over respect this. Because whatever this was in Arsenal, they wanted to keep it. Like, it's good enough to where they're like, okay, let's keep this card and set up. So we might get a little lucky here. Interesting. I'm not going to get rid of the sink. You got another one for me? If you use all three sinks. Okay, so Glint and in the swing. Okay. They kept the in the swing. Nice. Okay, we're doing a little bit better now. We have a huge deck lead right now. We just got to keep blocking efficiently. This is all blocking hands, so it doesn't matter if they can side here. Unless they just nourishing, then it's, it is what it is. Uh, you bait out the blade flurry, bait out the iron storm response. Uh, okay. So it's a four power. Got it. We'll fate here. Pitch away the shred, arsenal the sink. Hopefully they don't have any reaction. I'll have to give up both D Rex. <sighs> we'll fit you. I'm assuming they have a attack reaction. We'll bond that. Okay. Cool. We'll bomb this, see if we can get something. Oh, we love that. That's a great, that's a great sink. That's a great sink right there. We love that. Okay. They're cho they're choosing violence. They're choosing violence. They are choosing violence for sure. Gain life. We'll take it. We've gained life on both, I think, which is nice. Five value. We love it. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Deeper for Oasis or um, over a move one out? Yeah, Martin, just because of Kano, <laughs> the Kano meta, right? I, it's the only out I have in the Kano is AB3 Oasis and then try to disrupt their pitch stack and hit some power cards along the way. That's my normal hope. I actually may put in Orbit in the sideboard. We're seeing I'm still messing. Graven Call might get replaced by Orbit because I think there's going to be a couple more than a couple Kanos at my pro quest. Probably has a D react here. Probably has a D react here. 
That's fine. That is okay. Yep. Let's do you. Let's keep this going. All we got to do is keep the surgicals in the deck and then run them out of cards at the end. Yeah. Unmovable is just... And unmovable, I felt, was a little clunky playing it with it um, during RTN season. Like, when it worked, it worked, of course. Like, when you have a blue in hand, you arsenal it. It's, it's fantastic. But Oasis and Sigil get around Command and Conquer, which makes it even better. That's interesting. They must just be wanting to buff their sword. Very interesting play here. We're fine with that. In the swing? Actually, this should be an in the swing. Yeah, this is an in the swing, I think. No, it isn't. Well, I'm surprised they, maybe they're trying to keep it for a Kasai activation. Oh, Blade Fairy, get out of here. <sighs> they're at 31 cards. We are at 41. Now they're at 30 cards. So we have an 11-card lead right now, which is pretty pretty substantial. And we've each taken six life. This is definitely going to go down to who runs out of deck. I need to start streaming more, y'all. I don't know how to formulate it. Do I stream in the evenings? Do I stream it, you know, in the day? I might put out something in the Discord and on Twitter if y'all want to respond to it on, like, when is the best time you enjoy people streaming. And I'll try to set up, a, like, a consistent schedule because I really enjoy doing it. I really enjoy doing it. Okay. Uh, what do you got for me? What do you got for me? Okay. I think they have an in the swing here. I'm pretty sure they have an in the swing here. Yeah. It's going to hit, but we just got to prevent some damage. I haven't seen raise an army in their deck yet. I haven't seen pitch or play it. And we got rid of two blood on our hands already, so we're good on that in-game plan. How many Blade Runners have they used? One run through, two run throughs, one glint, yellow Blade Runner, yellow Blade Runner, spoils. They have a lot of go again left in the deck. They have two spoils gone, which is nice. Two glints gone, which is nice. And three out of nine of their Blade Runners gone. Burdens of the past. The tech. The tech, my friends. Holy crap. Another one. Another one. They are ripping through this deck, though. Let me tell you what. Uh, You and you. Iron Song, they have one left. They got me, I know, right? Blade Flurry. You going to do, okay. So this is going to go up to... We just let this hit and give them the gold. Because the next one's going to be for plus three. It's going to hit us for five. Yeah, we just got to give them the gold here. They're, it doesn't look like they're playing into a raise an army plan. They're just trying to use the gold for value, which is fine. We're at 30 health. Okay. And then we can... They already made the gold, so we just block four here and send five. That's That's better. I will bomb that. It's fine. They're going to make two resources. It is what it is. I think sending five here is better. We gotta. I want to make them continue to make them block or respect me. Uh, we'll get rid of you. I want you having that iron song right now. 
They're going to basically be able to draw a card for free next turn. It's pretty good value. Um, I'm going to bet they're not. I mean, if they let me get rid of two cards, let me get rid of two cards here. All three blood on their hands gone. Nice. That's huge. That is huge. And in the swing's gone. Okay. So blood on their hands completely out of the picture. Completely out of the picture. And we still have two surgicals in deck that we can just keep cycling for late game. We have the health lead to deal with it. We should be fine. We're at 22 cards. There are 22 cards. We're at 33. So we're at 11 card lead right now. That's the hard thing about what they just did because they just gave up two cards and got dealt five damage. Like, unless your hand's really good, like, you might as well block with two cards, you know what I mean? And save the five damage because either way, you're giving up two cards so now you're giving up two cards and five life instead of just giving up two cards right like didn't make much sense to me personally uh we'll do this um yep they might have a nourishing here a heavy possibility. Yeah, they didn't use Dynamo. That was interesting. Maybe they're just really in the tank. I get like that sometimes myself. Uh, you. They have to have Nourishing here. They're going to give it a go again and then Nourishing. Okay. Yep, there it is. It is what it is. It's fine. They just used a lot of cards, three cards to be exact, to you to deal three damage. All we gotta do is keep the surgicals in the deck, and I think we win the game. They do have a lot of armor up there. That does feel a little bad. Go again, piercing one. Do we take the damage here? There is zero on hit threatened here. I think this is a moment where we can take damage. If they do some shenanigans, then we'll fate, but we should be fine. I don't want to take too much, so it depends on what they do here. But no copper made, no gold made. They might Kasai here. If I'm them, I'm Kasai in here. Nope. What do you got? I'm confused right now. Uh, we'll do this so they can't get two resources. They can't really block a whole lot right now. And if they're smart, they'll keep their nourishing in their grave for codex. Let's see if they block seven here. They might. We're gonna have to pop boots. We gotta we gotta make them respect it. They have all three sinks gone, though, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. They have one that all you got shown. They might be running one more. So we could be got got by the that all you got here. But if that's the case, we still took two cards from the hand. We just are still in the codex. It's not a big deal. Very interesting. Okay. Are you trying to block with all equipment here? Giving me all this equipment is nice. I'll gladly take this. Okay. One more card. Ooh, Clemson beat Arizona. Let's go. Oh, San Diego State lost. Boo. 
Reagan's upset. Reagan's from San Diego. She was sad. Uh, do we want to sync over power? Yes. And we want to do this. Make them have the D-React. If they have the D-React, they have the D-React. They are going to have that, though. Which does feel really freaking... I mean, they're going to go get it. They're going to go get it. We're going to make them discard a card, and we're going to make them block with Grains of Blood Spill. So we're going to make them get rid of two cards. Block, send Glint down. At this point, them drawing an extra card is kind of eh. And we might get lucky here. We might draw into a D-React, you knows. They do have a Vigor. They also have a Frailty. So, if, yeah, if we draw into a D-React here, we're fine. Oh, we didn't. It was this. Actually, ooh, yes, let's go. This is huge. Okay. Um, bonk. We actually could give up Tunic here if we wanted to. Is it worth it, y'all? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. We are still on the CNC here. Uh, get rid of that Iron Song yet again. They're at 14 cards. We are at 22. We're still a seven card life lead. If they let this hit, then we're even at a more life lead. We're at eight card life lead or deck lead, and we have two surgicals left in the deck. We also have two codexes left in the deck. We're in a good spot. We can start giving up life as a resource now. This is how this matchup normally goes. It rarely goes to zero life to zero life. It goes to like decking each other out. I think they definitely they let's see how many cards they bring into the matchup. 32, 14, 52, 51, 60, 64, 65. They brought 63 into the matchup. I feel like you have to bring in a little bit more, personally. Because Kasai doesn't really care to like, you know, bring more into the matchup. It doesn't really hurt her too bad, I feel like. I feel like she's one of the better decks on a like a fat stack. Oh, you're Kasai in here, huh? All right, what we got left? What can you hit me with? I'm already going to hit the thinking, please bear with me thing. One blade flurry. Three, all three Blade Runners are gone red. Blue Blade Runner is gone. So let's let's look at Blade, Blade Runners first. Blue Blade Runner is gone. Two Blade Flurries. Okay, they have one Blade Flurry left. One yellow, two yellow, one blue. Three, All three yellow Blade Runners are gone. All red Blade Runners are gone. There's one blue, two blue. So they have one Blade Runner left in the deck. Glint. I sunk a glint, glint earlier, two glints. I don't think they have Glint left. So they probably have... Yeah, they probably have that. All right, so I think we do this. We bait out the Blade Flurry. Yep, there it is. Or do we care, y'all? Do we care here? Right? Like, do we care if they make a goal? Oh, now we care. Now we care. That sucks. Actually, no, we don't care here. We don't care here. Damage is nothing right now. Okay, so what can we do next turn? I feel like we just get rid of this derpy hold line. Or 
Don't really need that card anyway. Save a little bit of life. We're not doing any disrupt disruption here, though, which feels kind of bad. They don't know that yet. They're at 10 cards left in deck. We're going to be at 19, so we're at 9-card lead right now, which is huge. But we have to get them low enough now to where that matters. They're probably going to take this. If I were them, unless they just have a dead card in hand, it's not going to do anything. I would take this. Uh, I find it to be Kasai favored, in my opinion, Jacob. Slightly. It's in my opinion, it's a skill match. It's a it's a knowledge matchup. I think with no knowledge on either side, it's very Kasai favored. I think once the Arachne knows the game plan and what they have to do to win the matchup, then it becomes more 50-50. Okay, they cash in here. Drawing out more of their deck. Spoils. Okay, so spoils is nothing more than they all three of their bloods are gone. And they are sifting through this deck right now. I think we're in a good spot here. I think we're fine. All right, Overpowering is not going to do anything. Yep. Whatever this is, we take it, I think. Because they're just going to overpower this if we block. And we can get rid of another card from their deck because they're not going to block eight next turn. So they just dealt three to us. Well, actually, four, then two. And we heal for three. Yeah, they dealt three to us. Get rid of that card. Um. Yeah, it's a little... You have to be a little bit more proactive in the Axe side, Jacob, in my opinion. You can't... Because they're going to outvalue you. A little bit better over the course of the game. One because of spill blood, and two because of just the plus one value that the axes give you over time. You have to be a little bit more aggressive in that matchup. Not like by a ton, but just a little bit. Whereas this matchup, you just look at like I would literally ask like how many cards are you presenting to them? And then go from there. All right, they're at six, seven cards. We're at 16. So we cannot get greedy here. Do not get greedy here. Do they still have nourishing in there? No, they got rid of nourishing. Sick. Okay. We literally can completely, we can block eight here and then send codex. They still have overpower, which is huge for them. Okay, so they just drew their deck. Interesting. <laughs> That's their deck. They have overpower. Do they have 14 damage in the deck, right? I mean, they do because they can keep swinging, but... This has been a grinder of a game, I'll tell you what. What are we doing here? They have an Iron Song response. They have an overpower. So that's at least plus four, right? Actually, plus a lot. Plus five. Okay, they didn't. That's interesting. We're just going to do this. We honestly probably should have blocked with one card, but it's fine. They're going to Arsenal card. They take off Dynamos here, which is nice for them.
Giving them that frailty token is the biggest thing, though. That's what matters the most in this event right here. Just give them that frailty token. Minus two value on their side, and they have to give me a card. We're in really good shape here. What turn is this on? A lot. Uh, can you see that? Is that like a thing you can see? Okay. Cool. Got rid of that. Oh, that's actually not a bad arsenal. If they had blood on their hands, this would be fantastic for them right now, but they sadly do not. No Raisin Army is interesting. You feel like you'd have that in the sideboard. Uh, we can do this. I'm going to make them react with something here. If they just want to take one, they can. I mean, sure. I'm going to knock you down faster than you can knock me down here. Like, if they're trying to race me a zero, they're not going to win this matchup. Should be on the top right corner behind Arachne. Oh, turn 18. Turn 18. I didn't even notice I was there. That's so cool. Thanks for showing me that. Yeah, turn 18. Okay. This is fine. I will do this all day. I'll just race you a zero now. They had to use a card, too, to... What are we doing here? They have an overpower. They want me to use it. I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to kill you next turn. Yep. GG's. I'm dealing nine damage. Still have a D react in the hand. They're going to go to one here. They're going to have to give me two cards. And then they just lose. Turn 19. There's that. Gotta give me at least one card. Good game. Or let me win it. Whew. What a grinder. 19 turns. Played that pretty solid. Hitting their blood on their hands early really helped because it made it to where I didn't have to care about Spoils of War. That was really the honestly a difference maker. Yeah, I don't know if I like hold the line. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I like hold the line. I think it's just kind of eh. Like it's it's good into the matchups that I'm already good into. Right? Those last two slots are very weird for me right now. No more regicide for the memes. We could just go back up to three sigil. I mean, how many blues does that put us at? Three, six, nine, twelve. It's a little bit too little of blues. Hmm. I mean, the concealed blade's super nice. Especially in this meta with all the warrior and like non attack action stuff is nice. You always keep this for like this for now. This might end up being switched to orbit just for Kano. 
because Kano is just going to be more relevant in my meta than Prism. I think there might be like one or two Prisms, and I could see there being like three or four Kanos, maybe more at our progress. All right, y'all, we're going to do one more game, and then I'm going to head off for the nap, if y'all don't mind. Man, we've been playing Warrior a lot. Uh, let's do you, you, you. Alrighty. So good, we'll start. Interesting. We honestly should have just blocked with those. We should have just blocked with those two and then kept the shred. Made him have so that. I just totally boo booed turn one. We should have blocked with those, kept the shred, played surgical off, annihilate the arm, and made him have something. It is what it is. We can still play like a slightly threatening surgical, but yeah, we should have done it that way. Very interesting here. Uh, what do we do here? Keep the frailty. Uh, let's get rid of the let's sink that take flight. How you sat against Prism? Um, I typically run frailty traps, and that's about it. Prism, you just gotta try a killer. Like, it's it's a bad matchup if if this if the prism is skilled. Um, but usually you put in frailty traps just to help with the those uh, heralds, and then you put in graven call. And what you're trying to do is use all your silver that you make to keep flicking graven over and over. Interesting. Hmm. I'm going to keep the cut to the chase. It's better for block value. Give me that armor. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Is E Strike normal on Bolton? I feel like it's not. Am I crazy? Hmm. Hell yeah. Probably have a reaction here, as I'm assuming. Please tell me I just made you burn snaps. They probably have a, whatchamacallit, Lumina. Oh, it's kind of a frailty here. You did scapel? Yes, you did scapel. Keep spider spite. There's the Lumina. Double Lumina. Hey, when you got it, you got it. You know, I'd rather be lucky than good, right? <laughs> like, there is nothing I can do about that. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so they got two swings here. Sure. They didn't have to waste soul there. That's hilarious. That frailty actually helped a lot. What's better than... What's worse than trying to play around Lumina? Trying to play around double Lumina. Um... It's so hard for them in this matchup, I feel like, because, like, you have to give up so many cards. Like, they just went down two cards and dealt no damage. It's almost like boosting and nothing happens. And they just got rid of two Luminas, which feels really bad in my opinion. Um, sure. Beacon, are you going to Lumina again? No shot, you Lumina again here. Yep. I can play you limited instant speed, so this is gonna hit. Yep. Nice. Well, all three luminas are gone. 
I think I do this. I'm going to give up flick knives here. I'm just going to play straight up for the rest of the game. Okay. Force them to play out whatever's in their hand. Probably a Valiant Thrust. Oh, that's annoying. It's going to hit. Well, I hope they're not starved for soul. But they have no Luminous now. A beacon is gone. A V for the Vanguard is gone. So they got two Vs and a beacon now. Oh, this is interesting. Lord have mercy, y'all. Okay. We're just high rolling to hell here. Go get a bolting blade, I'm assuming. Good lord. I ain't thrust. Yep, sounds about right. Sure. Not giving you that courage token. They're getting some turns, let me tell you what. Definitely not a high roll by any means, because it's not like insane damage, but we're at a point now where it's going to be hard to fatigue them. Because they fat decked hard. They were at 40, 55, 61. No, not fat deck hard. 55, 61. 60. They were like 62 cards. Lord. Okay. We gotta start being a little bit more offensive here. Okay, they're out of soul. Which is good for us. Alisol, no Luminous, only one beacon left, two V the Vanguards that came in use right now. Go again here, I'm assuming. Okay. Uh, we'll get rid of engulfing light. I don't want them to have automatic stuff. Still had no soul, which is nice. Can't get soul now because they just block a warband of Bologna. Well, that's nice. Take flight. Okay, they got the charge. We'll do this. Keep you on top. All right. So this is a crappy thing. We can play Eradicate here, but we give up our two encounter for Oasis, but I think we have to do this. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of you. I don't, they're probably going to block this. Yeah, okay. We've stabilized a little bit, but we're still not even close right now. They finally got Soul, which helps them. Okay. Uh, we're just going to play it straight up.
Let's see if we can get lucky. They probably have a D React. Yep. That's fine. We're okay with this. Let's make him keep giving us cards. <sighs> We're really going to have to keep Surgicals in our deck for this one. Keeping that Quicken makes sense to me. We don't even have them below 40 yet. I hope we win this. Ooh. I don't think they're going to block this. I could be wrong. Soul Shield. No. Let's go. Third beacon gone. Huge. Huge plays there. Quicken. Frailty Trap. Perfect. I think that was from Arsenal to you. Celestial Cat. Nope. We're we're getting rid of this sucker. <laughs> you okay over there? Yeah. Oh, I thought you slammed your desk. Oh, you won. Okay. You went like this. Did I? Did you? I thought you did. I moved my keyboard up. Ah, uh, that's what it was. I thought you were like slamming an excitement or something. All right, y'all. This isn't bad right now. We have stabilized hard here. I will keep that. They have five soul, though. But they're out of Beacon of Victories, so not too bad here. Now we just got to keep Surgicals in deck. Wait. Oh, we've used two. I thought we only used one. I'm dumb. Okay, we definitely got to keep that card then. Uh, Sure. What do you got for me? Damn. Okay. Sink that soul shield. Get out of here. Good thing about Bolton is if he runs out of attacks, he can't just swing his freaking Raiden at me. It's not like a sigh where, like, they actually have an impending, like, doom on you. And they're letting us hit. I mean, they are letting us hit here. Uh, sure. Um, good game. People quitting all the time. I don't understand. I'm I'm giving them no way to trigger their soul to trigger their ability, so they're just getting pissed. I don't understand it. Stop quitting. If you play Arachne, you know what you're getting into. Like you know the type of matchup you're about to play. I don't understand it at all. Why quit? Well, overall we didn't do too bad today. Just some casual games, so. It's not like we played anything crazy. Well, y'all, we've been streaming for about two hours and 42 minutes. I'm probably going to head off for the night. Um, going to go walk the doggies, hang out. I got to make my video for tomorrow. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I have my video list right here, I think, somewhere. Somewhere right here. I want to see what I want to do yet. I'm probably going to talk about the band restricted, talk about the brute chest that was revealed. Um, and then talk about the two cards, even though they're not too big, crazy, the two uh, blue cards that were revealed, because I haven't talked about them yet on the channel. So I want to get my general thoughts on those. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for hanging out. Um, Ray, for the five gifted subs, I know you're not here, but I'm going to say regardless, thank you so much. 
Um, you are awesome. Uh, yeah, thanks, Martin. And Martin, thank you so much for the Sensei sh uh, sub. That was great. Um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, I, gotta, I shipped out Red Cloud. If you're in here, I don't know if you're lurking. I shipped out your playmat this week. I, it took me a minute to get around to it. Um, and then I'm going to be doing a playmat giveaway for Sensei and above on next week or the start of next week i haven't decided what playmat yet i'm like looking at like 30 playmats right now i gotta pick one try to pick one thematic to the set um try to do a cool one uh but yeah we're gonna be doing that we're also gonna be doing the the card giveaway for sensei level as well is gonna be a cold full spires bite i have an extra one so i thought that'd be kind of cool to give away uh so if you want to join the the membership sensei and mcginchi enters a giveaway and then um the dojo level gets you special access to other channels in the discord and some other cool stuff. So thank y'all so much. Y'all have a good one. Y'all stay safe. Um, let me know what you want to see on the channel. Please join the discord. Give me some suggestions. I would love to hear it. Um, yeah. And I'll see y'all next time. Thank y'all so much. Y'all have a good one. See you, Martin.